Hello. How are you? You good? Did you talk bad to Bobby? You did? Do you want to talk bad to me? That's a good answer. Cause I will fuck your monkey ass up. I am such a really don't you don't have to worry about me. I, you know, I'm just a simple woman. I have four children and everything, and I don't like any of those fuckers. <laughs> and uh, I just want you to know I'm just a regular, plain old woman that just likes to tell jokes. And uh, I'm just kind of tired and because uh, I started my period. And, and if I could kill three or four men right now, I sure would feel better about myself. <laughs> I am so sick of television acting like being on your period is some romantic voyage. Ain't no bitch riding no horse when she start her period. Ain't no bitch swimming in the Caribbean when she start her period. You know blood attracts sharks. She ain't got no business being in the water. Why you wanna fuck up everybody else vacation? You wanna show me some real shit? Show me a woman in the bed with a heating pad, some hot tea and a joint. Show me that motherfucker. You want to show me some real shit? Show me a man sitting in the car with his three kids talking about we got to stay at the motel because mama tripping. <laughs> Men, you have no clue how hard it is to be a woman. It is constant fucking tedium. You want big titties, a flat stomach, a big ass. You got a small dick, but we still love you. <laughs> how you thin bitches doing? You all right? What you been doing? Throwing up and shit? I read the magazines, I know you're bulimic and anorexic, your little thin ass is better eat, cause a big woman like me, I'll take your man from you. Cause after he fuck, he gon' need to eat. Anybody can suck your dick, but can you fry chicken? That's what I'm talking about. And see, people crazy nowadays, a little thin bitch like you, somebody can pick your ass up and put you in the trunk of a car. Ain't nobody picking me up. You wanna pick me up, you better pray on it. And you ain't got no titties at all. My breasts are that size when I was three months old. If you was a titty dance, you'd be a hungry motherfucker. And what's so bad, your man is laughing at your ass. But that's all right, baby. He won't be laughing tonight, will he? Cause he gonna want some pussy, ain't that right? You'll see him tonight talking about, baby, give me some pussy. No, fuck that fat black bitch you was laughing with. Maybe she'll fry you some chicken. So we can all be friends. You need to know something about me. I hate bullshit. Everywhere you go in this, in this country, my country, ain't nothing but bullshit. I'm, I have never been so glad to see President Bush get the fuck out of office. I didn't know what to do with myself. I swear, oh my God, he's so, uh, I, I used, he used to piss me off because he'd be walking around with a briefcase and it just pissed me off because I knew nothing was in there but a coloring book and a sippy cup. <laughs> I love President Obama, that's my motherfucker right there. <laughs> I love President Obama because he handled that pirate shit right off the bat. He handled that right, he was in his office eating lunch. What, what? Some pirates. <laughs> Kidnap somebody. What they want? <laughs> Two million dollars. Man, kill them niggas. I don't hear that. <laughs> I mean, some of you men need to stop lying about the size of your dick and how you gonna fuck up some pussy and you know what to do with the pussy and all. You don't know shit. Some of you men in here know you got small dicks. Be honest. Don't lie to women about your small dicks, about your sexual prowess. Don't say that shit. Just say, look, I'm going to do the best I can do, and afterwards I will take you shopping. That's all we want to hear. Don't start lying. I don't want no small dick motherfucker all up in my face. A small dick is annoying. And if you're a black man with a small dick, just kill yourself. That's all I can tell you. <laughs> you fucking up the rest of the tribe. <laughs> you ladies, listen to me. I'm a worldly woman. I know some things. 
I can help you out. If you want your man to stop asking you to let him fuck you in the ass, eat some spinach, some broccoli, some corn, and some peanuts. When that nigga see that corn on his dick, he will leave you to fuck alone about that bullshit. telling you what I know. It is the nasty show. I can say what the fuck I want to say. <laughs> Some of you men in here, you so silly, you don't even know how to turn a woman on. You don't. You're just lazy. You are. <laughs> you are. You just are. First of all, let's talk about fingering people. <laughs> when you want to finger a woman, you must clean your nails and clip them. <laughs> And this isn't it. This isn't it. This you don't do that. And stop doing my titties like this. Stop doing that. And don't put your dick in between my titties. What the fuck is this doing for me? Some of the men are going, I hate her already. We love you. We love you. I have gone to bed with white men. Yes, I have. Because I'm a woman in the 21st century, and when you get my age, dick is dick. All you want to know is, is it clean and does it rise? And the one thing I will say about white men is that you're not much in the penis department, but that tongue action is hell. I had a white boy eat my pussy for the nigga sucking neck bones of shame. My leg was jiggling like this. I like, say something for later, say something for later. I'm gonna tell you something else. Some of you men do not understand women. So I'm going to help you because I am a kind and loving woman. First of all, men, women respond to power. We like it when you're mas masterful and masculine. Don't no woman want no weak ass, soft ass, bitch ass man. Women want men like John Wayne. Women want men like Denzel Washington in Training Day. Women want men like Rhett Butler in Gone with the Wind. There is not a woman in this room that has seen the movie Gone with the Wind. Panties don't get wet at the same scene. When Rhett Butler picks up Scarlett O'Hara and carries her up the red velvet stairs, and you know he fucked the shit out of her ass, because in the next scene she going, and she wept with the light as she trembled. The dick was so good, the bitch had a song in her heart. <laughs> men, stop being so pansy. Don't a woman want that? Some of you men in here right now don't even know how to handle it when your woman interrupts you when you're watching the game. There's a way to handle this. Don't get mad. Because every woman in this room has done it, including me. As soon as you're watching the game, here she come. I need to talk to you. <laughs> men, we really don't have shit to say. But it's just that we hate to think that that game is more important than we are. Yeah. So this is what, what you do. You say, come here, baby. Come sit on daddy lap. <laughs> we like it when you call yourself daddy. <laughs> now she sit on your lap, she gonna, you lick her neck right about here. Lick her neck right about here. And then you slide her down. Now she gonna suck your dick. After she suck your dick, you give her your credit card. She'll go to the mall and buy some shoes. You see the game, something for her, something for you. Now, now, ladies, ladies, I'm not going to just fuss at the men. You got a part in this, too. The men's greatest complaint is that some of you women do not know how to suck a dick correctly. You know who you are. Don't make me point you out. So I decided in my infinite wisdom to teach you how to suck a dick correctly. So take out your pen and pads and write this shit down. First of all, men do not do this. Don't do that. That hurt our feelings. But ladies, don't you do this. Don't do that, that hurt their feelings. Now, 
When you suck a man's penis, you must start at the base of the penis. That's the bottom. Are you four bitches paying attention? Because I'm not doing this shit for my health. I'm trying to help your monkey ass out. You want to buy your own drinks for the rest of your life? At the base of the penis, are you ready? that you didn't hear the microphone, did you? That's cause I suck dick like Jordan shoot hoop, nothing but net. For all you women that got a damn good man, every morning before your damn good man go to work, I want you to suck his dick. I'ma tell you why. A man whose dick is sucked well before he go to work, is inspired, rejuvenated, he's hopeful, he's even nice to that neighbor he can't stand. Hey, Bob, got my dick sucked, you don't know nothing about that. Hallelujah. Not to mention it cuts down on road rage. So ladies, this is my mantra to you. Suck a dick, save a life. Thank you for, thank you for letting me be myself, y'all, thank you.